Sinn Féin President Mary Lou Macdonald has said Irish unity is within touching distance. The significance, for example, of Michelle O'Neill coming in as the first uh, Sinn Féin First Minister is just, uh, I I suppose, a clear emblem of the wider change that's happened right across uh, Ireland. It's unmissable. It's here in the north, but it's echoed throughout the uh, island. There's a conversation underway about what happens next 25 years, 26 years almost on from the Good Friday Agreement. What does Ireland look like in five years' time, in ten years' time, in a generation's time? The days of partition are numbered. It doesn't work. Okay. Uh, Well, in touching distance, the days of partition are numbered. What do you think here? I think everyone sees Northern Ireland the way they want to see Northern Ireland. I think uh, Mary Lou MacDonald uh, uh, and not you know, unsurprisingly thinks that it's within touching distance. I don't see it within touching distance myself. Um, I, I, I'm not against an, a, a united Ireland but I'm not a, a, a wild advocate for it either. Uh, I, I have been referred to as a partitionist a, 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 at times on this show and I've said that but I suspect there are quite a lot of us. Um, so I, I think you know what? This is an historic change in the North, a, a Sinn Féin First Minister, and I'm, and I'm glad for them. And I think I'm glad to see Stormont going to be back up and running and all of that. But I think, first of all, it's a bit premature to suggest it's within touching distance. I also, with respect to Mary Lou Macdonald, don't think that this is necessarily the time for any kind of triumphalist statements. Uh, unionism is in a state of kind of febrile convulsion at the moment. I'd let things sit for a while and let the North settle. I think that's probably the best thing. But no, I don't think it's within touching distance. Having said that, Brexit has clearly brought it closer. I could see it happening maybe within my lifetime, but I don't see it happening any day soon. What about you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's within touching distance. I mean, the one thing, I'm, I'm a, as you know, I, I like my history books. Every time you look at a map of Europe over the last 200 years, what always strikes me is how much it changes. Geography maps change all the time. Borders change all the time. So will it happen in my lifetime? I think it could. I don't believe it's within touch and distance. And I think, I kind of disagree with you. I think Mary Lou's entitled to advocate for United Ireland. And I think unionists expect her to do so. I don't think they get overly stressed by what Mary Lou Macdonald has to say. Um, I do think, though, if Sinn Féin tried to rush the horses on this, they will lose. I actually think if, I think we're probably... 10 to 15 years away from being in a position where you would win a referendum. I think if there was a referendum in the next couple of years, I think it would probably pass in the South. I think it would not pass in the North. I think it would definitely fall short in the North. So I just think Sinn Féin need to be careful what they wish for here. I think if they push this too fast, uh, too quickly, too far, I think they will lose. I think if they play the long game, which to be fair, Sinn Féin is generally good at doing, then I think a United Ireland could happen in our lifetime.